Hello, uh, my name is Sitar. I'm a senior studying computer science, and I'm the full team lead on CU Air. When I joined CU Air, I was pretty confused about what I wanted to be doing. I actually joined CU Air's mechanical team. Um, I was on the mechanical team for one semester, and then I switched to our autopilot team. When I joined CU Air, I really wanted to try different things and work on interdisciplinary tasks. And moving from mechanical to autopilot was the perfect situation for me. The most notable project I've worked on, I was put in charge of tuning the, the autonomous flight of the plane. Um, so that involved the uh, autonomous flight, the waypoint flight, the takeoff, the landing, uh, working with the pilot to kind of have the autopilot learn from them. That was a really interesting experience for me and it taught me a lot and it uh, prepared me for being the autopilot lead the year after. When I got to Cornell, um, I went to Project Fest. There were all the cool project teams there. When I went and talked to CU Air, something clicked in my mind. and It was like, this is the coolest possible thing that is happening at Cornell. I knew I wanted to be on CU Air. During my first full team meeting, I saw the way that the full team lead at the time had a way of commanding the room to get everyone on the same page and get everyone excited about building this extremely intricate and complex thing together. I remember walking home after that first full team meeting, I remember thinking to myself, I want to be full team lead someday. So I was actually born in Israel. Um, my parents and I immigrated to the United States when I was three years old. Um, and I wound up growing up in the Bay Area near San Francisco in California. All my friends' parents were software engineers. One of the highlights of my childhood is the strong relationship I had with my dad. Kind of the basis of that relationship was that we liked just making stuff together. My dad and I made a pickle glow once. Uh, we took two electrodes and we stuck it to the ends of the pickle. We discovered how to make napalm. It's terrible, but it's really easy to make. I came all the way across the country to Cornell because I wanted to experience something new and I wanted to interact with different sorts of people. And that's actually one of the really exciting things about CU Air for me is that we're an incredibly diverse and interdisciplinary group of people and I've met some of my best friends in the world on CU Air. My first test flight when I was a freshman, we tried to launch the plane and it crashed directly into the ground. My second test flight, the week after that, uh, we tried to launch the plane and the plane like took off and flew. I felt what I think might be one of the happiest feelings of like, wow, I designed part of that thing and it's currently flying right now on its own in the sky. Part of why I continue to do it is I just love the feeling, the incredibly gratifying feeling of seeing something that you've poured immense amounts of time and energy and thought into just work flawlessly.